No, Bernard, it means you and Harry and any of those men that helped you dumb as fuck. Because those girls didn't know. Like P.T. Cruiser, Julia, or Bailey, they didn't know they were a flu. Alright, but you guys manipulated it into being a red. But here, here's the kicker. Bernard, if that was me and those two girls that you guys saw in the white, right? And the nice, pretty, and everything was decent, they didn't know. And they weren't the robots. Alright, so that means when the group of you adults took it and dismantled it, experimentatoring and all that nasty ass shit and then posted his crap everywhere. Just so Negroes can make Negro stealth. Makes it dumb. Then when you try to trick the Hiltons, Bowmans, and Kennedys or the, the Schwartzes or whatever you guys did to take Haley's stuff or whatever, makes you even more dumb. Bernard, you guys keep dragging them into the war campaign. I know where the main jealousy front is, and so Joe and them could take control of her shit. Holly and Amanda, because you guys mock her just as about as much as like me, but she's not even here. <laughs> Who else did Karen and them do that to? That's the whole problem with those two streets. You got some men that are so obsessed over those girls, they have no choice, Bernard. That's what I was trying to tell Ellery and some of them before you guys, you know, had your destructive fit with britches. No, 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 no. They had no choice, just like they have no choice now at the Starbucks or whatever. Because you men are a threat. Not as bad as it used to be. But they know you guys use them for your war campaign, Bernard. You're still moving down the same storyline telling everybody this bullshit ghetto story and shit. You're defying another friend of mine I haven't seen for a while. Another woman. And that's all you guys do. Anytime that you or the Freemans, Bernard, or that set of guys gets in front of a certain set of chicks, fucked up shit happens. So if you want it to stop, quit treating them like shit. Stop treating them like whores. Give them respect. I mean, it's that simple. But for some, you men are so threatened because you actually know that those women actually won. And they keep doing it. And you guys throw a tizzy fit about it. And then blame, 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 blame. The point is, Bernard. Carney man. I can almost damn, damn near prove that they were not the ones who initiated in the war. It was you men. And then you guys add your themes on with the All-American and all this other crap. So once you do that, you're stuck with the Roman Knight and all that shit. Whatever his excuse was for going off on Ellery or whatever. But like I said, Bernard, we already exist in an evolved state. Those guys wanted to take control of it or... That's what. Stay in that catalyst of the perpetual war cycle until you learn how to concede or quit going to war. That's your only option in World War III because they already can predict and they already got the tactical information and all that stuff. So the more nations you guys try to threaten or tell them which thrones or whatever. Your problem, Bernard, with the African Americans is that you keep you know, ghetto styling for one, when they probably don't want anything to do with the gangster ghetto shit or the gangs. And you guys try to assert you're the lion pride with, with and, and mate and try to mate in their same style. So even they don't have a choice because they only don't have many places to live. And I don't know the, the condition we already know in Africa or whatever. So that's my whole point. That's why they supposedly don't like the Israelis, but I don't know. I don't have enough information on that. You guys obviously don't like them. So that's why I choose them. Same with the Russians. I'm not going to make it easy for you all. I'm going to go for the ones that a majority of you all attacked in history first. Because that generally means that they have something that you all want. So why not I lie with them? 
you guys have had since the Cold War, if not before. So that's how you, if you're going to win any military strategy, it's to ally and stop going to war with that which you all went and attacked in the past. And for America, it's going to be the hardest. So instead of touting the all-American theme, Bernard, you, you guys got to find out what diplomacy is and shit. If they even accept that word over there. Point is, Bernard, the people here in the United States, mostly immigrants, need to be educated. You guys had maybe something when you were immigrating, but you became something else. So, stupid. You guys want me to win World War Three for you? That's the way it always boils down with the group of you guys. And I'm telling you, I'm showing you guys how to win. Concede to the authority at which you guys put in military control already. And they might have the information you guys need to solve your problems. But until you respect that, there's nothing I can do. I doubt maybe they care, but I doubt they care about the protest for and demonstration for LGBT is at the highest of their priorities, Bernard. Especially when it's draining you all out of money. So, like I said, they already said pretty much you guys owe China and all them a bunch of cash. <laughs> For what? Uh, an LGBT rainbow parade? For torture and mutilation? How about stop doing that? How about you got a neighbor to the south? Respect that. Fix the economy there. And you might learn something. Fix the economy up to the north in Canada. You might learn something. Because that's what they do overseas with the EU and stuff. So learn from your partners overseas. Model some of their behavior. You know, but but hard. That's why I don't want Americans and some of you to engage in warfare. Because you're not good at it. most of it is unjustified for bullshit reasons in the first place. <laughs>